Apparently went on in the dead of night. Uh, can you shed any light on that? I have a statement to make. No, you haven't. He doesn't know out about it. He didn't dig up them cobbles. He can speak for himself, Janice. It's a very simple question. So what about the cobbles, Les? I was walking home last night, peacefully minding my own business, when I fell over that pile up there, hurting myself. No signs, no warnings, nothing. And I owe the council Responsible for damaging my foot. I shall be consulting legal advice. Oh, yes. About suing the council for compo. Well, they say George Carman's very good. That pile of stones up there is nothing but a menace. Why am I paying my poll tax? Ah, well, that's the first time I've heard you've paid anything. Do you hear that? <laughs> you hear that? You too, you heard that? I'll also be suing for, for, what's the word I'm looking for? What will I be suing her for? Defamation. That's it, defamation. Just get in the car, will you? Oh. Oh, right. Damn it. oh, for heaven's sake. What? Ah. Oh. Hey, we shouldn't have to be paying for taxes. We're entitled to an ambulance. Flaming National Health Service. Oh, get in the house, you. Oh. All that crying and whinging in casualty. I didn't know where to put myself. That was pain and suffering, woman. Hey, I want that putting me pay out of the council. Well, you didn't impress that doctor, telling him you'd had a fall. He said it looked like somebody heavy had fallen on your foot. Call himself a doctor? What does he know? Not much, but I know plenty. Now get in that house. Oh! Ah, then, Les. Oh. <laughs> Don't you, Les, me. <laughs> Look at my foot. Ooh. Oh. Nasty. Hey. Oh. Hey. It weren't my fault. Charlie, you ran out on me. But you were making a hell of a racket. So would you and all of a great big cobblestone was dropped on your foot. But, but I, I had to shift transport, didn't I? Oh. You know, in, in case Bobby's come. Uh, <clears throat> I see they're uh, still out there. What? Them cobblestones we dug up. There's a big heap of them at Endert Street. You know, I'm surprised you didn't get them shifted into your backyard during night. Charlie, I'm crippled here. I can only just shift myself. Yeah, but your Janice is a strong lass, isn't she? I mean, if you'd give her a bit more exercise, you know, you'd have stopped her being so lippy, wouldn't it? <laughs> anyway, look, how are you fixed for tonight? Hey, eh? I'll get another lorry, we'll load it up and... <laughs> Charlie... I'm resting my foot here. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Because when it's better, I've got something in mind for it. Oh, eh? What's that then? I'll give you the clue, shall I? Yeah. If you was to drop your cap outside my front door here, yeah. you'd be well advised to kick it all the way down Rosamond Street before you bent down to pick it up. <laughs> 